Welcome to the Methodology Institute's LSEST video tutorial series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this tutorial we will show you how to run an analysis in LSEST. As a first step, check that you have saved the text file you want to analyze as a TXT file in an otherwise empty folder directly on the C drive. The folder and file name can only include letters and numbers and should be no longer than 8 to 10 characters. Close this folder before you launch LSEST. Then open the LSEST program. You will notice that the menu is in French. Don't worry if you don't speak French. The software is still easy to use and will take you through the steps. To start the analysis, click Plan d'analyse and select Niveau, which means New. This will open a dialog box and you can select the TXT file you wish to analyze. Press Open. Then press Enregistrer, which means that you want to register this text for the analysis. Clicking Annuler will cancel the analysis. The next dialog box that opens up asks you whether you would like to check the formatting of the text. Press We to continue. You can skip this step by pressing No, however we don't recommend this. What happens next is that LSES checks whether tags and the beginning and ending of initial context units have been marked correctly. Note that it won't notice if there are dollar or star signs within the body of the text. These would cause the analysis to terminate, so you need to remove or replace them at the text preparation stage. We'll now show you how to correct the errors. Clicking on the error message within the dialog box takes you to the place in the document where LSES found the error. Press Atandre. Here the error is that there are only three instead of four stars to mark the beginning of the text. Add the missing star. Then click the icon with the blue arrow on it. This restarts the error searching process and LSEST will list any remaining errors in the text. The dialog box that opens up says that there are no more errors in this text. Pressing Retour will finish this step of the process. This brings up a new dialog box which asks whether you would like to save the changes. Press yes. Now we are only one step away from starting the analysis. This final dialog box shows you the name of the analysis, the name of the file to be analyzed and the dictionary LSEST is using for the analysis. If you are using a full rather than a student version of LSEST, clicking on it will open a drop down menu with further languages. You need to make sure that the language of the dictionary matches the language of your text. For example, if the text you are analyzing is in French, you need to select the French dictionary. Also, you cannot analyze text in different languages within the same analysis. Now we are ready to start the analysis. Pressing We launches the process. The analysis will take a few minutes to run. Once the analysis has finished, you get a result window that looks like this. Now go into the folder where you have saved the TXT file. You will see that LSEST has created a whole range of new files during the analysis. If you wish to run a second analysis, you either have to create a new folder and put a new text file in there, or you have to close the LSEST program and delete all the files in this folder, except the TXT file. LSEST will be unable to run a new analysis otherwise. 